We have our head here, we have our teeth, and we have our teeth material. Now, if you wanted to, in this instance, like if you had like skin and you teeth and you wanted to have different versions of subsurface scattering on them, uh, in order to have two different parameters on a shader, you would have to change it. Or if you wanted to have one uh, object like this that's just metal or PBR metal roughness and you wanted to do something that was like glass or something that was like velvet that required a different shader, you'd have to make a new material shader instance. Um, we don't necessarily need to do that for the teeth, but we'll go ahead and do it just to show that. So over here, we're going to say new shader instance. So I'm going to see main shader copy. If I go over here to the shaders and we rename this so it makes more sense, let's call this teeth mat. I'm going to scroll down in here. And there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Subsurface scattering is already enabled and the scattering type is set to skin. Um, you can set it to translucent if you're doing like jade or something. Um, I found that skin worked pretty good for teeth, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on there. Uh, for the color, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make it just a little bit more yellowy for these teeth. And the scale we're gonna have to play around with a little bit, but there's one thing we need to do in order to see it actually update on our model. And that is, let's go ahead and close out of this. Uh, we have to go to our texture set settings. And up here at the top, you're going to see these are our channels. We already talked about base color, metallic, roughness, normal, and height. You can go over here, and if you wanted to have something oh, like opacity driven, like you want to see through it like an alpha, you have to add an opacity channel to tell it where it's opaque and where it's transparent. Uh, same thing with scattering. If you want to have subsurface scattering show up, you have to have a scattering channel. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Uh, and you still don't see anything, and that's because we don't have anything in our scene telling us to use that scattering. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a fill layer. We're going to call this scattering and this one we're just going to have controller scattering there's all it can control all of these things down you can see we have a new scat over here so we're going to go through here turn all these off and then scattering if we turn this all the way up to uh, white now we have uh, full scattering in order to see this a little bit better we're going to go up here to our display and we're going to um, go all the way up to the top here there's a shadows we're going to put on intensive i mean this calculates fast so we're going to turn on intensive shadows we'll drop that opacity uh, just a bit doesn't need to be full opacity. We can just drop it a bit. Actually, it's not too bad. It's a little intense at first, but uh, I kind of like it. So now I'll be able to see this subsurface scattering a little bit better. So now you have scattering uh, enabled and turned on. It's all white. And if we want to verify that, we can go up here and again, we can just look at our scattering and yep, our teeth are all white. And if we go to the shader properties, we have the teeth mat. We have subsurface scattering enabled. And there's one more place you need to enable it underneath the display settings here. If you scroll down, you need to activate subsurface scattering. Uh, this is going to be your sample count, and this is for the real time uh, preview of your subsurface scattering. It looks really bad right now. All we got to do is go back here to the shader, and then underneath that subsurface scattering parameters, uh, again, we set it to skin. You can try translucent. Again, I get better results with skin. And you're going to take the scale and turn it down quite a bit. In fact, I'm going to turn it down all the way to 0.01. And there we're getting a little bit of subsurface scattering. We can always crank that up a little bit. Actually, 0 0.02 might be nice. You can kind of see the difference where that shadow falls. It kind of peers through a little bit. Uh, but again, if that's just a little too much, just drop that down. And I'm trying to think if uh, there's a reason to do this. I suppose there is. Uh, let's go up here to the iris mat. And we're going to do this. I do that again. So we're going to make a new shader instance. Go over here to the shader properties. We're going to name this iris mat. And this one, we're going to change it from PBR Metal Rough to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. What this is going to allow us to do is to have opacity in our um, in our scene here. In order to get that to show up, though, i got to go to my textures, go make a new channel, and drop in an opacity channel. So now when I go back to my layers here, if I just make a fill layer, and we can just call this opacity if we want. So all this is going to control is the opacity. I'm going to turn off everything but the OP, opacity. And as I dial that down, you're going to see uh, that becomes transparent or opaque. So you can just, um, I'll leave it opaque right now, but just know that that's how you get uh, opacity control. And just in case it's not obvious, I'm going to take the skull mat and then under the shader settings, we're going to switch this one from PBR Metal Rough to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. And then just like we did earlier, we can go with the, click this plus sign. We can add an opacity channel uh, to the skull. And now that we have an opacity channel, and go back here to layers. Any of these layers now will have an OP or an opacity uh, thing that you can turn on and off. If you just want to control opacity just from one layer, you can make a new fill layer. You can turn everything off except for opacity. Again, we're just going to use this layer to control opacity. And you can literally go in and paint uh, opacity. Now, I prefer, instead of going in here to doing like a regular layer and having a brush with opacity 
turned on and everything else off. Uh, what I prefer to do is just have a fill layer and then on this fill layer with opacity I can say you know what make this completely transparent go here right click add a black mask so now it's completely opaque but then wherever you go in and paint it'll be transparent so you can literally go through here and paint out uh, opacity and of course just like anything else you can have that driven by I don't know why you'd want to do this but you could just like add a generator say I want it to be opaque where dirt is or on my edgeware you can make the model uh, opaque where the edge is, or of course you can go there and you can invert it so that now only, oh that's kind of cool, okay this might be a reason why you want to do this, um, <laughs> you can have it transparent everywhere except for your edge scratches are, it gives you kind of a cool wireframe look, a little meets Meyer style of uh, render. And of course you wanted more control over this, uh, it, you go in here and you can right click and you can add a paint and then on this paint I can go through here and you can paint out or you can hit X and that'll switch it over to black. So it's basically going between this black and white if you just tap X or you can go in here and dial in any sort of mid gray and then you can make this, you can bring back opacity uh, on a paint layer.